Guys, I finally messed up a shock on the Mega Rift. Now, this is all LMT down here. Finally tore a shock up, ripped the C clips out, messed the piston up, and all that. So, what I've got on here now is a set of the Pro Line shocks. I'm gonna show those to you on the table because they're already in. Then, I'm gonna show you the drive. Then, we're gonna come right back to here. We're gonna finish this thing up. Take a look. The Pro Line shock on the left and the stock shock on the right. The Pro Line is almost the exact same length. It might be maybe a millimeter or two shorter, but yeah, looks nice to me. As far as the oil goes, because you really want this to be kind of thin so the thing moves, you really want it to move. So uh, yeah, I use 10 weight oil. And by just compressing these down and all that, they look to be, a, they feel almost identical with the 10 weight oil. So that's a good thing. Now we're gonna look at, see how it is, how, what it takes to mount this on here. Ugh. Yep, gotta get that in there. The shocks come with the green springs on it. I took those off, put the yellows on. I also swapped out the top springs. I wanted this to be a little bit stiffer because of this thing. As far as the bottom of the shocks go, the one that comes in the Proline shock does not fit in the mount. So this is just simply one out of a Traxxas rod end. And that perfectly fits. Maybe a little loose, but it fits. I want this to bolt right up into the factory locations without having to use a bunch of spacers and stuff. So this right here is a stock mount that you see right here. And I turn that down just a little bit to where it fits in there nice and snug. And there you go. If you don't turn it down, it won't fit in the eye of the Proline shock. Well, all right, let's uh, check this out here. The back. It's definitely stiff. The front. So pretty much. Hmm. Did I go too stiff with the yellow shot, the yellow springs? Don't know. But I can tell you one thing for sure. Um, so far, I really like those shocks. And I'll pick up some more. I'll go ahead and match this thing out at the front. And possibly, I'll just use these shocks right here and just simply go through them one at a time with the LMT until they're gone. And then probably put the pro lines on that. Uh, feels good. I wonder how it's going to drive with it being apparently pretty well unbalanced. Oh well, let's go find out. <laughs> Woohoo! So far, so good. A double I got a double I was not expecting a double out of that <laughs> oh man that was awesome oh got a double but I stuffed it that was a double stuff Right on the lid. Way overshot it too. Oh, 
<laughs> I took it. tell you guys I like the shocks I think I'm gonna go ahead and order two more uh, that way I can at least put these on here on the front and then what I'll do are these shocks that I've got the factory ones as I go through them with the uh, LMT with the son of a digger um, I'm just simply gonna swap them out until I have no choice but to buy more pro lines so at that point I just gonna get the pro lines too much better shock I mean really uh, it's got a nut holding the piston on, not the little clips that come loose. I mean, mine lasted for quite a while with the clips. But anyways, when I break something, it's definitely getting upgraded. I upgrade stuff even if I don't break it. But anyway, uh, guys, in the description, we'll put links to everything on here. We've got the Vitavon housings, the Proline Black Mambas, the Proline uh, Metal Hubs, the uh, Rift Cage, the Vitavon uh, Carbon, the Red Carbon, um, and then... A LMT. So guys, check that description. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel whenever you guys use them. For everybody that does use them, thank you so much. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. So guys, 
Check that in the description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.